Thanks for staying with us. There's an endless amount of ghost stories, but now you can see the newest one on the big screen. Part of that iconic franchise known for the supernatural comedy. ABC 10's Marcus Allen tells us about this nostalgia-filled movie. Mark, again, props to you for getting this whole crowd out here so early in the morning. And I love it when you say, who are you going to call? And they're like, Ghostbusters. I'm telling you, the spirit is real. And in Sacramento, they're ready to believe you. And this might be the happiest day of my life because I'm actually driving one of the official sanctioned Ghostbusters vehicles. This is so awesome. All right, yes, Walt, as you said, they are ready to believe you and they are ready to spring into action. And all you have to do is say, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! And this is where you guys come on this side of the vehicle. All right, so it's a local organization of Ghostbusters and some of them are part of an international organization of Ghostbusters. And first of all, let's get to know them. You are. Chris from Rockin, California. Andrew Watley from Sacramento. Aaron Self from Lincoln, California. George Young from Sacramento, California. Joshua Geary, Sacramento. Kelsey Cole from Sacramento. Deanna Young from Sacramento. Got it. And by the way, wife of uh, this one over here. And you, sir, you've been doing this for how long? Uh, 1989, 86, something like that. Over 30 years you've been donning a Ghostbuster. How many smiles have you brought to people's faces when you show up like this? At least a dozen. All right. And land back to this ride. This is kind of awesome. This is your ride. You're kind of the president of this organization. The ride behind me, if we could see it for just a moment, this vehicle that you've constructed, complete with all of the accoutrement, is an actual lift ride. You pick people up in this. That's correct. Have you ever had anybody turn you down and say, no, thank you? Uh, no, most people are very like, oh, it's a Ghostbuster car. Oh my gosh, what a story to tell. Let's talk about the movie for a moment. Uh, it opens today in theaters everywhere, including the Esquire IMAX Theater, the biggest screen you're gonna see it in on California, in California, pretty much the size of a basketball court. What I love about this film, they have mined from what worked about the originals, the original cast, Ernie Hudson's back, Annie Potts is back, and of course, Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd, I caught up with Dan Aykroyd to talk about the reinvention of the franchise. Take a listen. To that night a lot. What goes back to your mind when you think about those days of making the original Ghostbusters? What uh, was it like? Just driving around New York City in that old Cadillac, man, and people not knowing what it was and slinging it around corners. And yeah, that was it was really the best. I think about trying to close a set. How could you make that movie at that time when you couldn't walk three feet without people no, yelling something? No, you're yeah, no way. We used them. We used them. We used the people. Yeah, we use the crowds. They called themselves. Yeah, and Dan was telling me through the years, when you watch the original and like the Ghostbusters show up and the crowd's going, yeah, it's a Ghostbuster. They're really, the crowd's really cheering because it was Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd, huge Saturday Night Live stars walking down the street. No one knew of the Ghostbusters at that point. Uh, he talked about the Cadillac. There is a replica of that actual vehicle in every way local, right? We have a screen accurate one on the team. And where's that going to be tonight? It'll be right here at the IMAX. Yeah, right here. And, and there's also like... I blocked the truck, but there's a truck behind me. You, sir, drive around day in and day out in a Ghostbusters truck. Uh, actually, that's this gentleman right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. So many Ghostbusters, hard to keep track. What made you decide to don your truck with Ghostbusters? Uh, I just wanted to join the crew, and I wanted to represent uh, the Ghostbusters in our charity work. Got it. Raise your hand if you've seen the movie that starts today in theaters everywhere, and uh, let's get your review. Very good. And down here. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, especially if you love the originals. Great to see them. I will say this. It's also kind of a, a life lesson. Live your life right. Because Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, they don't look great. However, Annie Potts, <laughs> Ernie Hudson, they look phenomenal. All right. Ghostbusters, yeah. Frozen Empire, now playing. Meet the Ghostbusters at IMAX here tonight. Back to you. Hey, Mark, uh, one of the guys to your immediate right is, is George Young, who you talked to. Ask him if he's making a decent living at this after retiring as a school teacher. <laughs> oh, that's a great question, Walt. So, uh, Mr. Walt Gray wants to know, are you going to make a good living in retirement uh, now that you're retiring as a school teacher? Well, let's put it this way. Um, I had so much fun as a school teacher, I had to find an another thing to bring joy to my heart. This is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's talk yeah. about that very first time yeah. you put in on out this outfit. Who were you with the very first time you dressed up as a Ghostbuster? Well, the first time I did it, I was uh, a, a third grade teacher at an elementary school, Camellia Basic, in South Sacramento. I don't think you're going to be able to load it in time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we don't have all day. <laughs> I want to see. 
Trust me if you will. There's a picture of him yeah, from way back in the day with it. all of the school teachers. Yeah. He started doing this for the kids at school. There it is. There it is. I'll post it. Back to you. Yeah. Oh, awesome. It's dangerous when you start That's flipping cool. through your phone like that. It'll on... always fail you when I you see... have 10 seconds to go on live TV. Okay. There's no dead. telling what could pop up on people. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I We're didn't want you to see that one. Ghostbusters. All right, Ghostbusters. All right, George.